Okay, today we're going to have a look at this knife here. Bark River. Excellent. You know what's in here if you watch the live stream there tonight. If not, oh, what is this a sheath? Well, let's get into this. Please, please, hold. Jimmy Slash, Jimmy Slash, Jimmy, please, please, hold. Please, 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 hold for Jimmy Slash. All right, so this is the, oh, man, I'm so stupid. I almost cut myself. I forgot where the blade was. This is the, let me fix that, Bark River. Oh, let me move the box here. JX5. Vengeful one. Check that out. Holy moly. Look at that thing. Let's get the, get the cover shot here. All right. Y'all have seen me, and, well, some of y'all. I did a JX5, I think it's a couple years ago now that I've had the other JX5 that I have. And this is the final run. Check that out. Final run of these. There's a few left out there. Different places. But, man, this thing. If you've never had JX5 in your hand, then you're just going to, you just need to try it once. Now, if y'all remember, the ones that have been here for a while, this is the one that came in a couple years ago. So, this is the JX5 I got, I think it was 2018. Check out, I'll see if I can find the video link and put it down there. So, this is the JX5 I got back then. Check that out. I just had this one, it's not custom made, but I had it customized. I had the voodoo green or the zombie green with the orange liners on there man i'm gonna cut myself y'all are gonna see me cut myself today because i'm acting like a fool and then, then i get this one with the ghost g10 and the blue liners not realizing how much it looks like cowboy dallas cowboy colors so i'm gonna have to get a young priest and an old priest in here to exercise my home of all the troy aikman demons <laughs> yeah the evil empire of NFL football. Like the New York Yankees. Nobody likes you. Except the ones that like you. But anyways, I digress. Now here's the deal. It's the same kind of knife. It's that same feeling you get. But there are some differences in these runs. Now, and here, I'm going to put a little post up here. I'm going to post this picture. And the whole thing is you can see the differences in the various inches and then weights and everything else and we're going to check those out here in a second but just the first thing i noticed in hand was the difference i noticed it when i picked up this knife and i hadn't even picked up this knife in a while and i said man that feels a lot better in hand it's not as blocky in hand and so i got out the i started checking on the website the different websites, and I checked out the older posts of this. This knife is really awesome. It's a little bit blocky in hand, but it really, really works. Of course, this thing, I can swing this thing all day and just not not worry about it. Just It feels good in hand. So it feels blocky, but it doesn't feel like blocky. But, man, this new one, they've really, really kind of like, I don't know, like svelted it out. Look at, can you see the difference? I think you can see it. See how they, they kind of put a little bit more contour through here? You can feel the difference. You can feel it when you go, bzzz, you can feel your fingers go up more. And bzzz, you can feel a lot different. This is a different handled knife. This is a different feeling knife. And you can see the thickness. I can see the thickness. Can you see the thickness difference between those two? Let me see if I can bring this up closer to the camera without cutting my fingers off. I'm going to show you on the calipers here in a second how these are different. So this is Bark River. It's the JX5. The uh, vengeful one. I always forget the vengeful one part. And of course it's made in the United States. You all love that stuff. I love it too. But let's see what kind of inches we're getting on this. It's going to be hard to figure out exactly, but just around this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right at nine inches of blade it says 9.06 on the website but i don't i don't see the 0.06 yet i may have that lined up incorrectly but then we check this one out and let's just see how 
good we look here. Yeah, that looks right around the same, right around the same. So length, they had a little bit different length, but I don't see that. Do y'all see that? Can you see the length differences? The thing is, the difference you're going to do is the feel. This one just feels better ergonomically in my hand. So, 3V steel, indestructible. Y'all see me beat this one up. Just whacked it. I think I, I haven't seen the video in a while, but I think it was just out at my buddy's place thrashing some old trees. So, it was awesome. Really, really love this knife. Just one of my go-to zombie apocalyptic end of days. What am I going to grab? One of those kind of knives that you want to have with you that just don't have to worry about. And this is going to be it. Either one of these. All right, so let's get into the calipers here. Just off, this is just I've already done a JX5 review, and I've kind of told you what this one's about and all the important features, the length, and and we'll get into the width of the blades here right now. So let's check this out. I just you know it's funny. I bought these calipers just for this video. I mean I'm gonna use it in future videos, but I wanted to show you guys. How, all right, how thick these things are. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll get this blade up here. See if I can do this correctly. I'm not a very good engineer type person. So I guess we squeeze this down. Is that right? Can you all see that? So I got 0.21. Inches on that thing. You see that? All right. Let me put that on screen a little bit. All right. So point two one four, right there. So let's check out the newer one. Let's see what we've got here. So I got point one eight nine. Right there. It kind of fluctuates. Let me see if I can get it on here correctly. I'm sorry. So point one nine. Point well we have point two one four. Let's go back one one more time just to check it for sure. So that was point one nine. That's easy to remember. And then this one we got oh see we gotta open it up just to get in there. So point two one two point there's an obvious difference. And the thing is, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. And I don't think what is that? Two one hundredths of a an inch is gonna make a difference. But the difference that this knife is going to make is in the contour of the handle. If you don't have a JX5 and you're thinking about getting one, this, this contoured handle should make a huge difference in your decision on whether you want to get an older one from you know secondary market because they're not going to be cheap on the secondary market. These things, you don't see these pop up very often. This is a great knife. The people that buy these are usually using them. I don't use mine. I would like to use mine more. We're going to get into that later. I have something coming up that's going to be fun. But anyways, that's different. What do you think about this JX5? Do you have a JX5? Do you have the old version? Did any of y'all? I know a couple of y'all got the new versions because one of you guys asked me about it, and it's your fault. You, you over there in the the, the hang me down state. You know what I'm talking about. It was your fault that I have this knife. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm blaming you, but I'm not saying it's a bad blame. But just know in your heart that you. All right. The knives are very similar. I like this one. If I had, if I grabbed it blindly and had to hold on to one and keep one, I really like this. I wish it had these scales on this one just because I like the color. And this does represent everything that's evil in the NFL. Well, not everything that's evil, but you know, most of it. <laughs> I hate the Cowboys. All right. So what do you think? Is that it? I mean, do you like the ch the chunkier the chunkier handle? Do you like that feel? Maybe it's because my hands are chunky and I don't have long fingers. It doesn't. I mean, it's not gonna slip out of my hand. I could thwack that thing all day, but this one, oh, this one just feels that much better. They really fix that contour because that's gonna work. That's gonna work great. All right, so we got both handles. We got all the same holes. We got all the same kind of liners and stuff. That's the you know full tang. This one's 
this one may be a little bit stabbier. I don't know. This this one doesn't feel as stabby as that one. But as far as overall knives, both great. If you can find this one, get this one. If you find a good deal on this one, get that's it. If you can find a good deal on this one, get this one. But if it's the same deal, I would get this one. It's a, I know it's a little bit less steel and whatnot, but I think it's a better knife in this this iteration of the Bark River Vengeful One JX5. Let me know what you think down there. Am I crazy? Have I lost my marbles? Does it matter to you? Have y'all any of y'all held on to either of these or both of these? And what do you think about that? It's just a little bit of difference. It's not anything that would stop me from getting this one again. But like I said, if I had to choose blindly and I just was going by how it felt in my hand, this one is definitely the one I would I would get. It just feels like you would, you know, you'd be able to hold on to it longer and not get as hand weary just sitting there chopping stuff so all right i think that's it please hit the like button i need more likes i'm gonna start doing more like related giveaways and hit subscribe really slowing down on the subscribers tell your friends don't hiss at me hiss at me again come on one more one more hiss yeah that's what i thought that's why you better keep walking <laughs> all right yeah i think that's it <laughs> I'll talk to you I always forget the sheath every single time. So let me put that caliper away for a second and break out the sheath so that you can see. It's the same kind of Bark River sheath that most of the Bark Rivers come with. Nothing super impressive, but just decent enough. Let me see if I can open this with this. Let me see. Ooh, that's pretty sharp. And unwieldy for doing intricate stuff. Oh, this stupid cat bit into the plastic. Here, you dumb dumb. All right. So here we go. Just a real quick sheath look. Oh, don't smell it. <laughs> it doesn't smell like leather. It smells like chemicals. All right, here we go. Let's see. You're supposed to be able to jam that thing all the way in there. Get in there, you dirty no good. Alright, so. It's easy, so easy a child can do it. Alright, in all fairness to them, it does break in pretty easily. So here's the other one. So it just goes in there like that eventually. I just have to leave it in there for a while. Alright, now, like and subscribe, and now I'll talk to y'all later.